All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room US. Uh, so we're going to have a look at Ableton Live today and how we can integrate this with our iPad. Um, I know Core Gadget just started giving away copies of Live Lite uh, because you can now export your projects from there right into Ableton. Um, super handy stuff there. And so, you know, I know tons of MIDI controllers have Live Lite copies that you can get. So it's not hard to do, and um, you know, with iOS 8 the way that it is, I know some people are thinking about jumping ship. So I just kind of want to go over, you know, how to get you started on, you know, continuing to be able to use your iPad and um, and maybe using some some desktop software too. So let's check out RTP MIDI. So this is going to enable us to send uh, Wi-Fi or send MIDI over Wi-Fi from our computer to our our devices. So if you haven't heard of RTP MIDI, Google it. Um, you know, it's one word. It's by Tobias Erickson, I believe is the, the gentleman's name. And, uh, and download it. It's, it's free. And it's very easy to use here. So uh, you can create a new session there. And we can see the ones I've created. User PC is just the name of my computer. And under our directory here, this is where we see our, our participants. Um, so we have our phone, you know, this iPad is already highlighted and this iPad is grayed out, excuse me, and is not um, not connected yet. So we want to use MIDI Bridge in order to do that. So let's open up MIDI Bridge and in our preferences here, um, right here is where we can just type in the um, IP address that we see right down here. So once you type that in, uh, hit connect and we can see that we are now good to go. And in our interfaces here, we can see that um, we have a core MIDI in uh, being sent there. We can see that we are now highlighted here. Network session failed or lost. Things still look good there. I'm not gonna worry about that little pop-up. So once RTP MIDI is going, you probably never have to open it up again. It's just, just works, it's very easy. Um, but yeah, so now we are connected. So let's get some clips going on here. And these are just MIDI clips that I've I've made. Um, just a little pattern that I've sequenced here. So in our MIDI 2, make sure that it says user PC, and we're going to go to channel 10 right away. On track 2 here, we'll go to user PC, and channel 1 is fine. And um, now we are going to use Funkbox over here. And both of these iPads are hooked up via the, the headphone jack right into um, my Akai and are all running into to Ableton. So I've got a microphone, which is recording my voice over, and the two iPads in extension 1, 2, and 3 there. So now when we hit, uh, I'm sorry, let's go to our settings real quick in Funkbox. Make sure that in our MIDI routing, uh, that MIDI bridge is going on there. And then your drum channels um, default to 10 there, so that's good. That's why we're using channel 10 here. So now are sending this wirelessly. So this, uh, this pattern is being sequenced, you know, um, and sending the data over to, to Funkbox, which is now recording um, to an audio track. So very easy stuff there. Um, same thing with Magellan here. Oh cool, yeah, so these are just dumb little clips that I made right before before shooting this video here. So, uh, you know, already very, very easy stuff um, in order to be able to, to get some of our, our sounds and our synths going um, and record their audio. But say we don't have an interface, uh, what, what can we do? We can use Apollo Sound Injector, which is very, very cool. So this is in a, a beta state, so to speak. Um, it's been a little buggy. Things have not been, been totally smooth for me in this regard. But, you know, like I said, it's a work in progress. And um, looks like I've upset the audio bus gods here. Let's check that out. Okay. So uh, the reason why I did this, I just unplugged this so that you'll be able to hear that um, we are going to be sending this audio wirelessly now. So let's check this out. Let's go to Funkbox. Open it up there and open up Apollo Remote Recorder in our output. And enable the web server. Let's go back over. And in our audio track here, 
Let's change this to resampling. And then um, let's add the Apollo Sound Injector VST. So that is in my plugins. And uh, yeah, and this is free as well. Sound Injector Remote Recorder costs like five bucks or something like that. But um, Sound Injector is free. You can get that on Secret Base Designs website. And when we hit enter there, we can see we just saw a big spike there. So that's, that's a good sign. It means that, um, that it's found. And so I was actually having a little bit of trouble with this uh, a second ago. So I'm actually going to stop this. All right, now we should be good. So let's, uh, let's play our drum track again. So very cool. So now we can hear it going on. Um, now we can, you know, if you wanted inside of audio bus here, you could add your effects there. Otherwise we could open up, uh, you know, some audio effects in here. Let's get like a ping pong delay going. And this is all wireless and in real time here. So really cool stuff there. So Apollo Sound Injector, it's uh, it's free right now. Or, you know, I mean, it's free all the time. It's uh, it's a an early version right now is what I wanted to, to say. But uh, but yeah, we can, it recorded our audio right here. This is our, our drum track recorded, you know, um, wirelessly. You know, we can see our previous drum track recorded via, you know, the um, headphone jack to the interface. So really easy stuff, really easy to get going there. Um, yeah, I mean, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, I just kind of wanted to show you, don't give up on your iPads just yet. <laughs> you know, I know iOS 8 is causing a ton of headaches, uh, but they are still incredibly useful devices. And even if you're getting some headaches, say, with AudioBus or InterApp Audio, you can still just, you know, export the sounds, uh, you know, either wirelessly or, or control it with other pieces of software. You know, there's so much that you can do with it. So don't give up on your iPads. <laughs> Uh, keep keep Doug and I in business with our little hobby here. So in any case, uh, check us out on soundtestroom.com. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, get a hold of us there. Uh, but otherwise, I hope you found this useful and you know happy music making, everybody. All right, bye.